Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 4 of Altec 620. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform shapes in Affinity Designer. So let's get started. You can see here I have my file named Tutorial 3, and it contains my four artboards. Artboard 1, 2, 3, and 4, and of course my five lines and my five planes. So what I'm going to do is show you how to actually transform some of these shapes. Now I'm actually going to focus on artboard number one. So what I'm going to do is come over to my layer studio and I am actually going to select, holding down the shift key on my keyboard, I'm going to select artboard two, three, and four, and then I'm going to click on this lock icon. And that's going to simply lock those artboards so none of the layers that are part of that artboard can be manipulated. And then secondly, just to minimize distraction, I am going to turn off the visibility. In other words, I'm going to hide those artboards. Okay, now what I'm going to do is come over to artboard number one, and I am going to zoom in a little bit on this. And... Let me just pan down so you can see a little bit more. Maybe something like this. Okay, very good. And I'm going to turn off snapping. Uh, that's something I don't want for this. And just real quickly, I want to show you how you can manipulate or transform these shapes. So first and foremost, using the, the Move tool over here, you want to select the shape that you want to transform. Now, of course, you can drag and drop it anywhere within this space that you want to position it. So that's real easy to do. Alternatively, you can come down and adjust the X and Y position of the shape. Now, alternatively, if you wanted to adjust the height, let's say you wanted to make it a much shorter line, you could simply come down and adjust its height by typing in, let's say, as I did in this case, 100 pixels. And so importantly for this assignment, you want to keep the width to 10, 10 pixels, but you can adjust the height to whatever you want. Another thing that you can do, of course, is you can rotate this however you want. So you could slant it like this, and notice how when I'm rotating it, it is rotating from the top. Alternatively, what I might want to do is rotate it from the center. So how do I do that? Well, this little diagram right here shows you, you can see the big, let me click out of this, shows you that this left-hand corner of the shape is actually the transform point. Alternatively, we could click here on the center and rotate it from the center. Now look, it's pivoting around its center axis. And of course, we could do the same thing and pivot it from the bottom if we wanted to wave it back and forth like this. So I'll click on the center piece here. Alternatively, you can grab this little handle here to move this around. And there you have it. So just to summarize, you can easily transform the length of your lines. You can transform the rotation and you can transform the position. Those are the three variables that you can manipulate for this particular assignment. Okay, we're out of time for today. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in Canvas.